اهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده من برنامج من هوليوود مع ميكو على اليوم السابع انا ميكو النهارده معانا مقابله حصريه مع ابرز نجوم هوليوود نيكولاس كيج عن فيلمه الجديد دريم سيناريو احنا عملنا مقابله مع نيكولاس وقال لنا عن حاجات كتيره بس انا مش هحكيها لكم هخليه هو يقولها لكم قبل ايام بدا عرض فيلم دريم سيناريو من بطوله عدد من نجوم هوليوود ابرزهم النجم العالمي نيكولاس كيج والممثله لي بريد وجوليان نيكلسون ومن تاليف واخراج كريستوفر بارجلي I'm looking at the mushrooms instead of helping Who certainly have actually had a dream about me Okay, let's explore this. نيكولاس كيدج شخصية بول ماثيوز الأستاذ الجامعي اللي بتنقلب حياته رأسا على عقب، وده بعد ظهوره بشكل عشوائي غير مفسر في أحلام ملايين الأشخاص الغرباء، وبعدها بيتحول من شخصية مملة دون هدف في الحياة لأحد المشاهير. نيكولاس كيدج أجرى تغيرات كتيرة على مظهره عشان يتطابق شكله مع شخصيته الرتيبة سيئة الحظ. وبيظهر بشكل رجل اصلع الراس وبوجه ظهرت عليه علامات السن Have you been dreaming about me? Hi Nick, how are you? Very well. Are you in Cairo? Where are you? Actually, no, I'm in Hollywood, but I'm from Alexandria. Okay, well, fantastic. Beautiful. It's, have you ever been? Oh yeah, no, I was at the uh, Cairo uh, Film Festival a million years ago. I had a I had an amazing time. Yeah. Do you know that 100 million people there are big fan of yours including myself? I did not know that, but I, again, I'd love to go back and say hello. I did enjoy it. Mahaban. Assalamu alaikum. I am so happy to be back in Cairo, back in yeah. yeah, you're super welcome anytime. We really love you there, Nick. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your time and my first question to you I want to know what your thought when you first got the script. I thought it was a beautiful title. Two of my favorite words mashed together. Dream and scenario. It just feels good saying it. Dream scenario. And then I read it and I thought it was one of the five best scripts I had read in 45 years of doing this. The others were Vampire's Kiss, Leaving Las Vegas, Raising Arizona, and Adaptation where I said, I have to make this movie. I didn't want to change a word. And um, I thought it was a very interesting analysis on the subject of fame itself. And about your character, Paul Matthews, he went through like being a dream to everybody and being uh, an overnight uh, fame success. And all of a sudden the dream went to nightmare. Your character was changing so much. How were you able to do this today on the screen? So I was lucky in that I could transform my appearance. We wanted Christopher and I, the director, and I wanted to erase so-called Nick Cage and, and change the look. You know, look like a, prof a professor of evolutionary biology, that sort of Benjamin Franklin horseshoe hairdo, the glasses, change the shape of the nose, change the sound of my voice, because I do think that people recognize me more from my voice than anything else. And then through that vessel, Uh, inform it with genuine emotion that I could relate to, you know, Paul's dreamification. I felt I could share the experience, my emotional response to my memification, and put that into the movie. Why does the zebra look the way it does? <laughs> so embarrassing. Hey. You've been on my mind recently. Yeah? Because you keep popping up in my dreams. You don't do anything, you're just there. I'm well, finally cool, huh? I didn't say that. You hear that, Janet? She's saying I'm a cool dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, wow, a great job. I love his relationship and his reaction to people. Who are like, I, 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 I've never seen a, a non-horror film that scares me. I was scared <laughs> that it's not horror. Well, you know, the thing is, it's, it's not really just a comedy. It does work on a horror level and it works on a dramatic level. I wouldn't know how to label the movie. And those are the best kinds of movies where they, it, it just is. You know, he goes from being uh, just a, a bland entity in other people's dreams, bearing witness and doing nothing and being a bore, which is a nightmare for him, for Paul Matthews. To, a, to an actual monster in people's dreams, uh, capable of great violence and menace. And that was fun to play, to be able to hopscotch different portrayals. And, and even the dreams were like mini movies within the movie. How does 
it feel to go viral? Who's actually had a dream about me? OK, so I'm just observing again. But that's funny. <laughs> Interesting one. Anyone else? Yeah, just be, be, being under all of this pressure, even your own family turn against you, that must be as a story. It's And especially with all, every, the whole cancel culture now that happening in the social media world. It's very real. I mean, I, I wasn't thinking about it so much in terms of the cancel culture. I was thinking more about in terms of the Jungian idea of the collective unconsciousness and how everyone's starting to have that group mind and it's becoming a reality. But I do think that people, even in families, start to turn on one another based on how they're received in society. Even if you're not famous, if something happens that's an embarrassment, Oh, you brought shame on the family. That kind of thinking is 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 uh, prevalent through all families. So, Nick, the, the last thing: what what are you hoping for people to get away from this film? And uh, I, I'm hoping for a very original storytelling experience. I'm hoping that it gets people to experience the aftertaste that I think dream scenarios quality lends itself to. I think that they'll want to see it again. There's more to be discovered. I hope it grows with time. You know, it's a very original movie and it's not like anything else. And it, it might be to some folks tastes immediately and it might not be to other folks tastes immediately. It's not necessarily a feel good movie, but I do think it's a movie that has has a, a, a poignant and artistic residue feeling to it. And I, I'm hopeful it'll stand the test of time. The, me, the only thing, I, I, like one of the main things that actually I took from the movie was like being able to tolerate other people and uh, that's promoting tolerance. And that I thought that was an amazing for to see somebody under so much pressure. Nick, God, thank, thank you so much. Thank you again. Thank you so much. For everything and uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Be well.